Welcome to the Planet of Maths channel. Today we will cover the topic of power of a power. And to start, we need to do something like this, express as a power. And here we have 2 to the power of 3, and then to the power of 2. So we're raising a power to a power. How does it work? What does it mean to raise something to the power of 2? That means what's in the bracket, in this case, I need to write it twice and multiply it. This is how the operation is written down. From previous topics on powers, we should know that if we have an operation where here we have the power of 2, and here we have the power of 2. As a result, this 2 will also be found here. And these exponents 3 and 3, we add them together and get 2 to the power of 6. That's the result for our first example. In the second example, it will be similar. We also have a power, 5 squared, and we need to raise that to the fourth power. This means what's in the brackets, I now have to write 4 times and multiply. So this breakdown looks like this, that we have written four times this power of 5 squared. And now, just like in the first example, our result is 5 to the power of what? Well, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. This gives us a result of 8, means 5 to the 8th power. And that's what it looks like when written out. But of course, we won't be writing out all these examples every time. There's a certain principle here. Where did this 6 come from? If we take a look here, it turns out that we could have multiplied this 3 and 2, and we get 6 from that. The same thing applies here. 2 times 4 gives us the result 8. We'll skip the elaboration from now on. And in the first task, we are instructed to express this as a power. So according to what we discussed a moment ago, the result from this first example would be 6. So what do we have to do with the exponents? We have to multiply them. 2 times 7 gives us the result of 14. The result from this example will be 6 to the power of 14. In example B, we have a fraction, but it's essentially the same. This one-half fraction must also appear in the result. We need to multiply the exponents 5 and 8. That's 40. In example C, we have power of a power and to the power again. But this triple power here doesn't change our rule. As a result, we have 4, and we have to multiply these three exponents together. 2 times 4 equals 8, and then times 3 gives us 24. Here the result is 4 to the power of 24. Second task, express as a power of 2. Well, this task will be a bit more difficult, because here I have 4, and I would like to write the result in the form of the power of 2. That is 2 to some power. We'll find a table like this useful. I've listed the most important powers of 2 here. 2 to the power of 2 equals 4, 2 to the power of 3 equals 8, and so on. And now, this table comes in handy for me, because the number 4, which I have here, According to our table, I can replace this number 4 with the power of 2. I'll also write this in parentheses here, and instead of the number 4, if we look at the table, the number 4 is the same as 2 to the power of 2. This means that instead of this 4, I can write here 2 to the power of 2, and then I have it to the power of 7. When something like this comes up, I already know what to do. I now need to rewrite the number 2, which is here as the base, and multiply the exponents. So here I get 2 to the power of 14. In example B, I do the same, because 32 is the same as 2 to the power of 5. So instead of this number 32, I'll put it here in the bracket. In this bracket, instead of 32, I can use 2 to the power of 5, and to the power of 12 as well. And now I multiply this 5 by this 12. That is 2 to the power of 60. In example C, it will be no different. Looking at the number 64, we check the table, and here it is 64. And 64 is otherwise 2 to the power of 6. So I cut out the number 64, and in its place, I paste 2 to the power of 6. And then, I copy the number 10. From this, it turns out to be 2 to the 60th power, after multiplying the 6 and 10. Task 3 asks to express as a power of 3. It's similar to task 2. And here we have an example of 9 to the power of 18. To do that, we'll also need a table of powers of 3 here. And here we see that 9 can be written as a power of 3, 27, 81, 243. However, most often we'll encounter these three numbers here. What will happen to our example? If I have to write it as a power of 3, then this 9 here, I can also cut it out. And in place of this 9, as I see here 9, it's the same as 3 to the second power. So in this parenthesis, I'll write 3 to the second power and then to the power of 18. And now I can multiply, which means the 3 remains, the base, and I multiply 2 times 18, which gives me 36. So
So 3 to the power of 36 comes out of this operation. In example B, I do the same. The number 81 is also a number I can replace. I can replace this number 81, which is the same as 3 to the power of 4. So here in this parenthesis, I put 3 to the power of 4, and to the 12th power. The 3 remains the base for me. And when I multiply 4 and 12, it becomes 3 to the 48th power. We've done example B, and in example C, there's the number 27. We look at the table, here's the number 27. That's 3 to the power of 3. So instead of that 27 in the brackets, I'll put 3 to the 3rd power, and also to the 20th power. Now, I rewrite the 3, and I multiply this 3 by 20, which gives me 3 to the power of 60. In the fourth task, I was asked to compare the numbers. It seems I'll be doing something different now, but it's just an illusion. The number 4 and the number 8. 8 cannot be made as a power of 4. 4 to the 2nd power equals 16, not 8. This 8 cannot be reduced to 4, but there's another way to do it. 4 and 8, both of these numbers, we can write them as a power of 2. Let's recall our chart. Looking at this table, the number 4 equals 2 to the power of 2. So here I can replace this 4 with such operation that it is 2 to the power of 2. So I have to put this in parentheses. This is my 4 that I had in parentheses here. Instead of this 4, I'm putting 2 to the power of 2 and then to the 20th. That is the same as 2 to the 40 power. And what about the number 8? I'll take it as if to cut it out. And instead of the number 8, I can put here 2 to the power of 3. Instead of 8 in the parenthesis, I will have 2 to the power of 3. And I rewrite this 14. And now I know what to do with it. I write down 2 and multiply 3 and 14, which gives me 42. And only now, when I have the same bases, I have 2 here and 2 here, well, I can compare them. Definitely this number is larger. So this number is also larger, and it is larger than that one. This way we determine which power is larger. In example B, to compare, we need to do as an example A. But now 3 and 9, as if a common ground for these two numbers, would be the number 3. Here we probably don't need to recall the table. We know what to do with the 9. 3 to the power of 20 won't change at all. And here, instead of the number 9, I can put in 9 is the same as 3 to the power of 2. I rewrite the 12. 3 to the power of 20 remains unchanged, and here I get 3 to some power. So with this now, I have to multiply, and it will be 24. So when I have 3 to the power of 20 and 3 to the power of 24, well, this number is definitely larger. So this power is larger than that power. And we're left with example C. Here we have 125 to the 4th power. We need to see if it's going to be greater or less than 25 to the 10th power. This time, these two numbers, 125 and 25, will turn out to be powers of 5. Because when we look at this auxiliary table now, I see that this number, 125, I can substitute it with something. 125 is the same as 5 to the 3rd power. I have 5 to the 3rd power actually inside this parenthesis, and outside the parenthesis, it's to the 4th power. So I can multiply this out here, and it comes out to 5 to the power of 12. This is from this power. And from this power as well, the number 25, I'll just take a moment to look at table. 25, that is 5 to the power of 2. So in this bracket, instead of 25, I put 5 squared. And to the 10th power as well. Multiplying these two numbers now, I get 5 to the power of 20. And now I see where there's more. There's definitely more on this side. Thus, 25 to the power of 10 is really a lot more than 125 to the power of 4. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I invite you to tune in for the next episodes on the Planet of Mass channel.